Hey there. So today's video is about how to track keystrokes on Android. Uh, this has a bunch of applications like say you're doing a calculator or a live calculator or even live search or suggesting text using some NLP backend. So this can be useful in that aspect. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, first I'll create an edit text and give it an ID text and that's here. Uh, that's all we need to do in the UI part. Then I'll go to my Java. I have a function which I just defined. It's called listen and I'll tell you how to go about it. So here's my function listen. We will be using a text watcher. Text watcher is what will notice any changes in your edit text and update you. So that's a really easy process. First we'll find our edit text. Okay, there's our edit text. Now, all we need to do is set a text watcher. So for that, we need to do edit text object et dot uh, add text change listener. So that's what we'll be using text change listener. And now you just see the prompt. It says text watcher. So we'll call a new text watcher. Just like all the methods Android will do. Android studio will do all the work for you. Just click the option here. And you have three methods. Uh, we'll be requiring only these two methods. I will not be talking about this. Uh, so this is before text change. So this care sequence which comes along is the text which was there before you changed. And similarly on text change, this is the care sequence that is uh, after you entered the character. So it's a really easy application. Uh, all we need to do is just put a toast or whatever uh, so you can just use this care sequence I'll show you what the care sequence is but you can use it in your backend or for predicting something or even doing a calculator with live outputs so I'll just say a uh, new text is oops yes yeah so by doing this toast, we'll be printing the new uh, complete array, new array, which has been entered. So say we had uh, an input of A and then we type B after A, the output here will be AB. But we only want to detect new characters. So for that, I can, I'll just do this. Uh, so I'll have a new string here. String, uh, string change is equal to empty plus uh, my char sequence s so i just need to find the last character usually that's the that's where you append unless you do a backspace so it will be s dot char at s dot length that will give you the length minus one that because indexing starts from zero so we'll just display the last character so it will become u entered change that's it so that's the entire code i'll now run it and yes it's ready so i'll type something j you entered j similarly say h you entered h this way you could track all your keys and then use it for your processing a uh, really good application which i mentioned before is uh, live search so you're entering and you can just show the immediate results or it could be your live uh, calculator where you're entering and uh, entering a set of operations and it just keeps automatically updating the overall value so try this out it's really good thanks for watching